Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're talking the 12 best videos of 2019. So I want you to take a moment to think about what video that you enjoyed the most this year and to post it in the comments down below. So it can be a video from any channel that you like or any topic that you're interested in. Most likely it should probably be one about the MySpriggs personal types, but if you think there's something else people should really watch, feel free to promote it in the comments field down below. Now today I'm giving you a look back to my 12 best moments of this year, 12 videos I am exceptionally proud of for 12 videos that uh, said something about what we accomplished this year or 12 videos that I know a lot of you liked or tuned in to watch or enjoyed. So here we go, the 12 best moments of 2019. Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor I wanted to start out January 2019 with a series on the cognitive functions, but the response was terrible. Almost nobody tuned in to watch this uh, series on the cognitive functions. And honestly, I understand why. Why would you tune in to watch a video about the cognitive functions where you could simply read on it online? Still, one of my videos did pretty well, and that was my video on extroverted intuition. Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking extroverted intuition and with this cognitive functions like all others, you either like it or you don't. You either enjoy talking about the future or you don't. So extroverted intuition is a flow function in the ENFPs and the ENTPs, but also in the ENTJs and the ENFJ personality types. So what does that mean? First it means when you interview these people and they talk about what they're they like the most, what they find the most interesting. It's usually connecting patterns. It's usually figuring out what's gonna happen next. It's usually planning their next day. It's planning a party, planning going out, planning going to a visit a new place. So from January on, I moved on to more practical personal growth advice. For example, this video on INFPs and personal growth. Intuition can be not just introverted or extroverted, but it can also be reactive or proactive. And for an INFP, it's reactive, essentially. It's uh, adaptable intuition. It's an intuition that cannot be shaped or formed. It's uh, constantly in motion. It's an intuition that is constantly in motion, changing. First, my flow type approach, in which I identify a personality type based on who they are in flow. Second, my archetype approach, in which I separate the different archetypes and mythical representations of these personality types in our society and in our culture. Third, by looking at their cognitive functions, their thought processes and in reality their motivation. I say that INFPs come from a position of different archetypes and myths than the INTP personality type. In March, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep my job in customer service or not, and it made me want to push out harder on YouTube and on my personal projects. Yeah, what I see is a lot of ENTPs move from thing to thing, never really committing to anything. Some small ideas here and some small ideas there, you know, like a few, a little, a few bucks you can make on that job, and then a few bucks you can make doing that, and you know, a lot of ENTPs have this mentality of what is easy, what is quick, what can I do as fast as possible, how can I get as much as possible by walking as little as possible. Honestly, at work, it became pretty clear to me that I had taken on a very strong persona to other people, and that inspired me to make a video about chameleons, showing people that you don't always have to act like your personal type. Sometimes we pretend or adjust to fit our workplace or social environment. Chameleons emerge when they are raised by parents who have a different personality type than their own, or perhaps when they are socialized into a culture that is different than their own. Imagine a culture that teaches you to express your feelings openly, and imagine you're a person that values privacy and a person that values being level-headed and calm and dealing with your emotions with a rational basis. So. If you are this kind of person, you often feel you are forced to act the way you are. Chameleons act and respond to force or an experience of force or externalized motivation. I started realizing that I was always trying to be so intense and so serious about the, everything I did online. 
when I realize why, why do I have to be so serious about everything? Why can I not just let go and have fun sometimes? The thing was, I had no idea what he was talking about. I didn't even know he was in the room. However, sometimes I think I was not actually that funny in my videos and in reality I was just being rude. So you know what I realized? I like making plans. I like setting goals. And I like having ideas. But I don't like making these ideas happen. I love you, but I gotta be real with you. Your life sucks, and you need a change. I started making some progress on my New Jungian typology and the overall theory when I began making videos like this on intelligence. More rebellious, more likely to question their teachers, more likely to disobey the school rules, more likely to get in detention, more likely to do drugs, more likely to uh, stay up late, uh, or they might seem completely demotivated or disinterested in uh, things other people around them find interesting. So with all these things in mind, the intelligent people are not more likely to become successful than anyone else. If you think that being super intelligent is gonna put you ahead in society, sadly you're wrong. But the biggest progress was probably when I launched Artotopias and when I started making more creative and fun videos exploring different fantasy and movie and fictional character tropes. It helped me get an additional perspective and a creative way of exploring personality theory and that helped improve my overall theory on all levels, serious as well as playful. The Joker is an INTP and I expect the remaining 76% uh, of you guys, sorry, 86% of you guys to come on and comment and tell me how wrong I am in a few minutes. I think the Joker is an INTP because he struggles with social alienation, making friends, making basic connections, fitting in with the tribe. And later in the year I began working a lot on my personal boundaries and uh, giving myself what I needed a space, break, time to rest and recover, to have fun and to let go and to uh, create without necessarily having to share. And that was probably visible in my videos, for example this one about INFP alone time. She would swear she was an introvert because she says I need to be alone. I need to get away from people. Sometimes I just need to be by myself. I'm tired of having people around me on my shoulders all the time. I'm tired of people leaning on me. So I need these days off. I don't want to meet anybody. I don't want you to call me. Let me be alone. And she's an interesting person. Uh, because um, she says... I need alone time to be selfish. Honestly, these discussions meant so much to me and the response I got from all of you made me think so much that I actually had to make a third video on topic on INFP alone time. And it was a video describing the INFP thought process and the whole emotional spectrum that is necessary for you to be healthy in your creativity. And while this was about INFPs, I also took a lot of value about this message and about this video as an INFJ. And I came to think a lot about what this meant to me as an INFJ. Maybe they try out a new dress style, a new wardrobe, some new changes in their lives to make sense of who they are. They try out things, they experiment, they are intuitive perceiving types, that means they are constantly testing and in particular they are feeling perceiving types so they are constantly testing and changing themselves. Now one video that I noticed really hit you guys was one on INTPs and it got over 177 comments and counting discussing uh, INTPs and the issues of uh, lis being listened to and being understood and being seen as an INTP and that's exactly the kind of content that I like to make for people and I really enjoy putting this one together. And if you're not capable of these things, other people are not going to listen to you. You're just gonna come off as a jerk and 
your advice and your answers will be discarded or often ignored and people will do the opposite of what you told them to simply because they don't like you. <laughs> now as an INTP when it comes to other people you have two choices. And now I want to end this video by saying I really appreciate all of you and I really feel that the 2020 is going to be amazing. Most of my progress on my channel was the end part of the year. It was the launch of Architopias. It was the launch of my first Enneagram test, my first serious Enneagram test. It was major improvements uh, in my personality test. It was uh, several steps to write down and publish an ebook that would detail the whole system of New Jungian typology. It was where we started really collaborating more with the community, making videos together with other YouTubers. It was a time when uh, I released myself from much of my stress and my personal life issues that I had in the beginning of the year that was holding me back so much and uh, where I grew as the most as a person. I got promoted to a senior role in customer service. I uh, started feeling much more calm and much more optimistic and much more positive. And I started feeling much more organized. It's never happened before, but now I actually have a video schedule with videos lined up until 1st of January. Now I've got ideas for videos I wanna make in the beginning of January. I wanna make videos in a more documentary, mockumentary style format where we discuss different personality theories and different systems. I have theories to fully integrate the Enneagram with the MBTI and I have a clear and coherent idea of how I want to connect these two systems and how I can use them together. I have ideas uh, for other books once I'm finished with my ebook, exploring different fantasy archetypes and different movies and different stories and uh, showing and discussing personalities in a fun, lighthearted sense. I've been developing t-shirts and merchandise. I have been improving my presence on Patreon. I have been um, doing a lot more to uh, support all the people who are supporting me to help them to see all you guys that are sharing good ideas and sharing and helping and supporting me in all these weird and awesome ways. Anyway, it should be said a million times in every video, I love all of you guys. And I really appreciate your support and I really want to thank you for 2019. Even though on a personal level it was a shit year, you guys helped me through it. And uh, if I can help you in any way setting up your YouTube channel or starting your journey as a YouTuber or a blogger or a creator, let me know. Send me an email. I'd love to help in any way I can. Thanks for watching and see you all.